Okay, this is the last of the ash logs I had in the pile, the, the big ones. Um, this is the biggest one I'm going to cut so far. This should yield plenty of boards for my uh, shiplap walls and ceiling I'm doing in the porch. The big end of this log is over 24 inches. The small end is, let's see, this guy is about 20 inches. So I saved this one for last. I got... Uh, probably close to enough boards out of the first two logs but then this one should give me plenty so if I don't like the look of a couple I can just use the best of the the batch I certainly don't want to have too few boards so I'm going to slice this up into my 5 8 boards about 5 8 by 7 I guess is what I'm shooting for so we'll see what we can turn out of this guy All right, so I ended up bringing all the lumber home. The stacks I had did the previous couple weekends, I had them sort of half-assed covered, but they got a little bit of staining 
that I'm minorly concerned about. I'm hoping that the stain, you know, will plane out. I didn't mess with any sandpaper yet on it. Um, what I did end up with though today from the tree I did, I have, you know, about nine feet long. I went up with 40 boards that are seven inches wide. So the ceiling's only 12 feet by 12 feet. Doing some quick math, I think just the tree today should get me my ceiling. So I should be able to sort through. I should have lots of extra boards left over. So I'm going to mess with some sandpaper on there and see if that uh, cleans up at all. But that was a workout. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the fan in here and take the dehumidifier out of my basement and run it kind of like a dehumidification kiln. I took some readings. To the, today's wood was registering at about 28 or 30 percent. The wood that I previously had milled and it's been air drying is already down to about 12 percent. So it shouldn't take too much longer since it's so thin and ash dries fast. So I'm going to get that set up now and thanks for watching.